Okay. Uh, okay. 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 This is Paul Newberry with the Associated Press here in Atlanta. Leonard Ella is his promoter. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, what's your uh, daughter's name here first? Huh? Spell it. Javadi David. What's your future? Obviously, you've shown your power at the lighter weight. How is this a challenge? This is a really big challenge. Let's fight somebody. Actually, we know that that boy didn't make the weight. Um, our last fight, you know, he came in 134, so we know that he's a, uh, he's a bigger guy. And yeah, I'm coming up with weight. So this is a real big challenge. He actually holds, you know, he's an action pack. He's got power, he's got speed. Um, it's going to be great for the, for the, uh, the sport, it's going to be great for the band. Hopefully we have a great night. What about you? What's the one that has, you look this fight, you showed up a couple of years ago, kind of maybe raise your profile. Uh, you know, your record's very impressive, but the crowd, a lot of, a lot of guys, a lot of great fighters out there. What do you kind of used to hope to use this for? Just to, you know, get better and better inside that express certain things like that. Make up one of the bring the best out of me, so if you make that season, I'm not just a power bunch of uh, action and fire skills. What about two that? I know you don't want to look ahead past this one, but yeah. with, uh, with, with what's out there, we know that there could be a pretty big match uh, after this if you uh, take care of business. Yeah, um, we're definitely looking past that. But, uh, we all know that you know, they line them up right here. Right here. So, yeah. so whatever they line up. Javante, great news hearing you here at the ATL for one of the biggest fights since 20 years has passed by. How special is it for you to come down here next month and face Jokic Gamboa? Uh, it's very special, though, because I always wanted to fight here and things like that. So, um, just having a fight in Atlanta, you know, I've been coming back and forth here for so many years and the uh, city so many to support. You know, so before in Baltimore, now it's time to come to my second home, and that's Atlanta. What brought you down here to Atlanta initially? You know, um, when you start training, did you have a fight camp down here and you liked it, or what initially brought you to the city? I actually was coming here, it's probably been like five years since I've been coming here now, so um, I've been here, you know, I don't want to say back in the day, but they said that, and I always liked Atlanta. And I started training down here, I got a couple people that, that train here, so I trained with them, you know, so I like the um, Atlanta, so. I wanted to fight him. Tank, what did Gamboa tell you during a face-off? Do you ask him, what are you saying? Basically, he, he said that he don't speak English. He said he don't speak English. Did you size him up right now? Yeah. What did he you got, say? He got, he got thick, yeah, he got thick heels, so I know he's short, way shorter than him. How did that sparring session go, since everybody was talking about it? He got out, like, I think we both did, I think we both did, like, um, one, six, six or eight rounds, and he got out, like, the third round. Hey, Tank, hey, uh, Atlanta's known for its flash. What do you have planned as far as when you come out um, come out to the ring? There are two very, very big punchers in boxing, Javante Davis and Deontay Wilder. What Can you deliver a knockout just like that, a bigger or better? Yeah, probably, probably uh, just like that or better. I'm going for better. What did you think of his knockout at King Kong? Yeah, it's crazy. Congrats on uh, to Deontay Wilder on that one. Um, that was a great performance. That was a great night of boxing. No, I know you have Gamboa in front of you, but you got to give Leo credit because not a lot of people are running to fight you. So the fact that he wants to fight you, you got to respect. Him. Yeah, yeah I mean, he want to come. He don't even want to fight me at 30, 30. He want to fight me at 30. Well, he said he don't care. So that shows the fight to him. He might see something that we all don't see. Will you, th will you think your name would be? the name to reach out to as far as other champions calling you out anyway since you now is in one of the hottest divisions in boxing. Say that again. 
do you think your name will be the first call out amongst other champions? You know, once you finish, exactly. Once once you pick up the belt, everybody's calling you out right now. But they can call you out, but signing the contract is a little bit different. Do you think we'll be able to make some of those fights? Uh, hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm do you see? Do you see Leo Santa Cruz as a as a worthy opponent? You know, for the division champion now, as somebody that you would face in 2020. I mean, he's he's a uh, he's a top top fighter. He looked good his last fight. Uh, I looked good my last fight. Uh, it just me, you know, going out there and perform December the 28th and go back to the drawing board and see what we come up with. But if he wanted to fight, I wanted to fight him. Let's get it on. It was a Okay, you weren't impressed with uh, Devin Haney's last performance. Can you expand on that a little bit? I saw you left a tweet with regards to the fight on the uh, KSI Logan Paul in the car. Uh, Devin, he, he, he did what he had to do. I mean, every fight ain't going to be, you know, uh, pretty, you know, so he got the job done. That's all that matters. But I mean, if you had to rate his performance, were you expecting a little bit more out of him out in that fight? I mean, I... Who I, who I am, I had to rate, you know, I never box up, you know, um, performance because, you know, I'm not going to always have a good night. I will not always have a good night, but that's not, that's, that's not realistic, you know, so, um, you got the one, that's all that matters. Tank, you said that you're not your biggest motivation. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's, she's definitely my biggest motivation, you know, I just said, I'm going to you know, she, 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 Leonard, any tickets left? Because the tickets that went out initially were sold out very it's within hours. Yes, we still have tickets. But you better get them while you can. Because I guarantee you this State Farm Arena on December 28th will be sold out. Tank, will it be hard with Thanksgiving and Christmas? I mean, you're in camp. You can't have a good time or enjoy. Not, not, not really. Um, I, I really don't have a big family, so I, I never had a big family. So Thanksgiving and all that was ever good. Mama Chico. Okay, go ahead. But I have my daughter now, so uh, Christmas is not Thanksgiving. Lomachenko was initially calling you out several months ago. Now he's decided to drop back down to 130. Do you see him as, as a potential opponent for you? Um, he could be if he could continue to win. Uh, the thing is that they in a rush. His time is you know, ticking. My time, I'll be up. You know, so if they want to you know, fast road things and like that. But, um, I believe the fight will happen just on you know, good terms. Do you respect his resume at this point, being that, you know, he, he remains on the top pound-for-pound pound list? No, nah, I don't. I, I respect his resume, but I don't respect the, the, um, how they glorify him. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't really do nothing in the sport. I mean, he got, what, 14 fights? They, they already gave him the uh, franchise belt. I think they should take that out of the box, to be honest. But um, he's doing what he, has to do, he wanted, so. You're 22 and 0. Do you think once you make your imprint on this division, they would consider you on that top pound for pound list? Uh, I believe so. After um, this one, and then probably another one, you know, at uh, 35 or, or 30, I believe so. They, sh they should. Uh, just not. I want to say just off of this one because. How serious were you about moving? Sorry. How serious were you about moving up to 140 to face somebody like Josh Taylor? I was serious. I was really serious. Are you still serious? Yeah. I'll fix it. How do you feel like that fight plays out between you and him? I'll probably stop him in the late rounds. I believe so. Tank, I, I want to see Canelo. You don't see that, that I, got really have, I really have skills. Yeah, like, you ain't just power. Bad. You had, you like, had I really have bad. skills. Like, <laughs> well, you, I don't think you let us see that because you, you always stop people. I mean, I feel as though it's, if somebody, we always thought that in the gym. If somebody don't put me in there with you. Don't don't right. Yeah, Tank, I, I went to see Canelo. We had nothing but nice things to say about you. I talked to Mike Tyson. He's a big fan of yours. What do these superstars see that the haters don't see? They see real talent. You know, um, they actually have skills. You know, uh, Canelo, I believe one of the, one of the top guys that have skills on TV besides me um, and the other young fighters and things like that. But I believe that you know, real recognized real. 
Tank, give us your thoughts on the local fighters and the fight clubs that are here uh, in Atlanta that you visit from time to time in the gyms that you that you spend your time in here in Atlanta. Uh, actually, one of them, uh, yeah, right, I know, right I actually spoke with the Michael, um, I want to say a couple months ago, um, the Michael is a great fighter, he's a bunch of power, he's fast, he actually at 132, so, you know, I think he's uh, um, a prospect, you know, a future world champion, so, the summer 28th, I will see. Hey, hey Tane, what, what do you think about uh, a fight with Tevin Farmer? Is that something about no what happened? No comment. No comment? All right. Take, Take was that one of the most tense, like, intense face-offs that, that you've had, like, in, in your career that you can remember? Uh, no, nah, I think me and, me and Petrowski, because yeah. I, I was really, I was really focused. Like, I, I was willing, willing to give him my all to make sure I went. You know, so, I mean, this one was uh, tense, you know. Uh, he, he seemed a little locked in there for a minute. Yeah, he's like, he's trying to hold up, a, you know, a character that, you know? But we know that he can fight. You know, I know that he can fight. I know he ain't, he ain't no champion, so um, I'm prepared. Last night, Hawks game. A few weeks ago, uh, Ravens game. These experiences, when you were seven years old, were not a reality. How does it feel now? Calvin is agreeing, but uh, I feel great. You know, just my hard work and you know, great accomplishments uh, is paying off. So you know, I want to continue to win. I want to continue to get in this space. Do you see a pay per view fight this year? 2020. 2020 for sure. What do you, what do you, what do you think the venue would be? Vegas? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Leonard? We ain't got there yet with all that. <laughs> December, we, work, we focus on December 28th. Yeah. We got a huge, huge fight. Being undefeated, Tank. Do you think the performance that you put on in Baltimore, each and every time being a knockout artist, you have to continue to improve, improve, and do much better than the last? I believe that I got to improve. You know, uh, I don't say a knockout, but you know, just have a great performance and things like that. You know, that's my only concern. I always have great performance. I always want to give the fans a, a great show. You know, so. Um, we have a great opponent to do that with, you know, so um, could ask for more. It's, it's really not a lot of fighters out there that, you know, um, you know hold uh, action-packed fights like that for size. You know, you say Gamboa, you know, you send your own mountain in the car, you know, you took the guy out in the second round. It's not really a lot of people that's not guys out there. They're showing you a lot of love down here in the ATL, you know? Yeah. They was cheering your name, calling your name when you walked in. How'd that feel for you? Uh, it felt great. You know, this, like I said, it's always been my second home. Uh, I've been coming here for some time now. I actually still got a house here, so um, I'm landing my second home. What do you have to do different in this camp when you prepare for your last fight with this fight with Gimbo on the 28th? Uh, just train harder, you know, just continue to train, you know, do what I always do. It's no difference. They are his opponent, you know. Uh, I still, I'm still have my same small partner. I'm still training with the same guys. I'm well changed right now uh, because, you know, we got to take it. broke no picture. Like 20 to an it's really based on the opponent, what he's going to bring to take. You know what I'm saying? Because, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that guy. Want to bring the best out of Tank. We've seen Tank at all levels since he was a kid. And every time he get in front of him, he changes. I mean, he changes his style. I mean, y'all ain't, man, y'all ain't seen Tank. And now, when you sit there and look at all the guys that they got at this level and whatnot, he's doing the same thing he's, they doing, but he's doing it in the facts. He's getting them out of there. You know, and like you said before, when a guy is not on your level, he shouldn't be in the ring with you. Mm. I'm looking for that guy that supposed to be in the ring with him. It's Gamboa's that guy. You know what I'm okay. saying? His resume speaks for itself. He's going to put up some work. But can he take that punch? Because I know what he's going to do. And that's how we train. And anybody that's been in my gym know how we train. We train like that. Because it's a fight at the end of the day. Kevin, you've been with him for such a long time. Does it still shock you sometimes when he put on those performances I told you, I and close it out? You know how when Michael Jack, I mean Michael Jordan used to uh, take that fourth quarter, the whole team watching to see what's what's going to happen. With Tank, I was just waiting for that guy to 
bring the best out of him. You know, they talk about take knockouts. I want to see the performance that he put on for the people where they go home and talk about it. You know, you leave a karate movie, and you leave a karate movie, you feeling good about that karate. I want them to leave the boxing the ring and sit there and say, man, you seen what Tank did? Man, you seen what he was doing? That's what we looking for. We chasing greatness. Do you think Gambo is the hardest puncher uh, Tank will face at this point in his career? Most skillful hardest puncher. Skillful. Most skillful hardest puncher. You know, he been through the uh, amateur uh, background and everything. Tank didn't have that chance because of the age and whatnot. Right. But again, Gambo is going to set him at this level once they see his performance. You know what I'm saying? They're going to give him something to talk about. But we know the writers, we know the critics. They're going to sit there and say, oh, that was Gambo. We got an older. Nah. Got a young fighter, it's a vet, that want to get back on that level. Everybody loves that level, you get what I'm saying? So what we have to do is make sure we keep them focused and let them know we got to go through them doors. And Gamble is one of them doors. Hey Tank, how, how long should we see your residence here in Lightweight Division? Are you planning on unifying or you pick up a couple of titles and move up to 140? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever, you know, whatever uh, God's right out for me, you know, um, I just came here, I mean, I just moved up to 135, you know, so, um, we just want to see how, you know, how I feel at 135, uh, Ashley and Cap, um, feeling great, uh, even if I got to go back down my next fight at 130, I can do that, you know, I can, I can stay at 35, you know, fight there, you know, um, I'm comfortable, so, whatever, um, my team and me come up with, then that's what it is. I'm all uh, team. Who the weakest champion in this division, you think? The weakest? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's no uh, no weak champion. You can't be weak to be a champion in this sport. You know, we, all, we all know this is a tough sport, so I want to disrespect respect nobody and say who's the weakest champion. Well, how do you feel about the franchise championship? You know, a lot of people was giving Devin Haney flag. I, I, you know, nothing he had to do with it, but... Yeah. It's really not Devin Haney, you know, uh, what's uh, fault, you know. I believe that, I believe he wasn't a champ until he fought. It don't matter who he fought, it don't matter. Uh, he could, they could have picked somebody off the streets, you know, and, and fought him uh, that night. So, I, I just believe that he wasn't a champ until he actually fought in the ring for the belt. So, right now he's a champion, so, you know. Um, I, I never, you know, said nothing bad about him being a champion, they gave him the belt because that's not his fault, you know, I was saying something about them giving you know, Chico the franchise belt, because, of, you know, you can't, you can't lose, it. somebody beat him and, you know, and, um, and, and they don't, they don't get the belt, you know, so I was thinking that that's disrespectful, that's basically a slap in the face, you know, yeah. so. Tank, when I think of this fight, I think about Gotti and Mayweather, you think there's going to be a Gotti Mayweather performance? Mm. It could be. I, I, I wish. I wish. I wish. I hope. I, 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 I mean, you know, I mean, I've been that, following him for a long time. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a, that's a good one. Maybe I need. To, I've been, you know, maybe I need to go go, go watch some, some of that. Yeah, that's actually my favorite fight. I always. Yeah. Well, I always that, watch that, that, that would be a beautiful, you know, performance if you do it on that level. Yeah. I mean, you do your own thing. Though, yeah. You know. That'd be crazy. That is crazy. Tank, how, how, much, how much importance do you put on? I, I wanted to touch back on what we were talking about the franchise situation. How much importance do you put on, on unifying titles or undisputed? Do you think it's uh, much more important to maybe pick up one or two straps against the best possible uh, uh, champions out there? Or unifying all the belts is, is, is of more importance? I mean, it's, it's, it's basically what best for you. What's, what's, best, what's best for you, you know, you can't fight everybody, at, you know, uh, at one time, so we take it out time, uh, I believe that I have one of the best, I know I have one of the best team in the sport, and um, I'm just, yeah, right, no best, you know, so I ain't want to sound too tired. Uh, Tim, you just gave out some turkeys, how was that, how was that experience? It was great, you know, um, it was great, great experience, uh, I want to continue to do that uh, over the years, and, just to show them that you know, I'm a champ inside the ring, but also outside the ring too. Speaking of champ, tell me about your new dog, champ. Oh yeah, I just got a new uh, Frenchie. Uh, it's an exotic one. Yeah, exotic. Yeah, it's bad. Smart. Yeah. Hey, tell you think anybody got some power? I mean, we 
know Gamboa got supposed to fight. You know that. This fight can end at any moment. Tank, I got, I got to throw this in here. Um, Mayweather announced a potential return to the ring. What, what are your thoughts on that? How does that make you feel knowing that, that he said that maybe he didn't want to at first and now he's talking about a little bit more serious? Like, what, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, he'd be going to the, he, Mayweather, uh, Floyd go to the boxing fights. So, you know, as, as fighters, when you watch a boxing fight, it gives you that ass that, you know, want to you know, fight. So, maybe he was at a fight and he felt like he wanted to come back. You know, you never know what Floyd, how he's thinking, you know, things like that. So, it's great to have him back, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, I can be on that undercard. At what level do you think he can still compete? Top level. But I think about it, he's one of the all-time great. It, don't, it really doesn't matter who you fight right now. You know, he, he's, Bud Crawford called him out, like, I think, immediately I mean, after. Crawford looking for the money. That's all. You, do you think that that could be a competitive fight at this point? No. Do you think which, the lightweight... Which, which okay. way, no? <laughs> Do you think the lightweight division is going to be your breakout division? Of course. I think it, it, it just it doesn't matter what weight class. It's just me pitting on that performance. You know. It's heavy in the lightweight division. And they wait, no, they, 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 they've been waiting on Javante yeah, Davis to get here. Let me jump in on it. It, it don't matter who Tank fights. They're all events. He, he's, he's, again, he's probably the biggest star in the sport right now. Right now. Right now, at the, at the tender age of 25 years old. I'm telling all you guys, you better jump on now because this is going to be a great, great run. One of the best runs ever in the history of the sport. But you're going to see a combination of speed, power, everything. Charisma. You're going to, he's going to be one of the biggest draws in the sport ever. Ever. What he's doing right now hadn't been done before at 25 years old. He, he Right now, he has... He's captured the, the attention of this whole entire younger generation. They're, they're, they're all talking about tank. This is what this younger generation, they're talking about tank and what he brings to the table. Because he brings excitement in, in his fights or events. And, and everyone wants to come to the fly shit. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's yeah. going to be, no yeah. yeah. be no different on December 28th. When you look around, you're going to see all kinds of celebrities in the building. They're going to be... Uh, they're going to be rappers, you're going to see actresses, you're going to see models, you're going to see actors, you're going to see um, sports stars. You're going to see some of everybody because that's what he brings to the table. This will be the biggest event of 2019. Thanks, thanks for that summation, Leonard. <laughs> That's what we need to wake up. Hey, but uh, like we said again, we just can't wait till 28th to get here. All right. Can't wait till 28th to get here because I think I think Ambo is going to be that guy that said, this, man, I ain't going out like that. But I want to see how much punishment that he's going to take. And I think he's going to be the one that actually bring that tank out that I'm going to You know, because y'all ain't seen him. He got some stuff for him. Any final words to your fight fans, Dejavante? Uh, thank you all for coming out um, to the boxing uh, world. Keep supporting me. I fight for y'all. I'm out. Salute. Appreciate it, champ.